I just went feet first out the window, bro. One of my cats is hanging out the window. I've missed him, bro. I've just literally just leapt over him, landed on my feet, done a roly poly. I've tried to get up and whoop. My legs are done. What, you was that bad? They sent you all the way to Wales? Yeah, they call it like a emergency care home kind of thing. They tried to Tracy Beaker me, bro. You've been locked up or in the system from 13 years old to 20 years old. You've spent more time inside than you spent outside. You could lose your arm, your eyes gone. Is the phone still on? <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Our cat's still getting served. How much do you reckon CGM made in total? <laughs> My brother. What's going on guys? This video is sponsored by Louis. Some of you know I'm on Insta as loads. One of the best Instagram names, let me tell you that. Guys, Louis has been building online businesses for the last five to 10 years and he has spent the last five years coaching others one-to-one -one on how to start businesses. Louis's got over 2,000 profitable testimonials. And guys, let me be honest with you. I wouldn't let someone sponsor the show who I didn't vouch for. So trust me, it's legit. Literally, just go send him a DM on Instagram. It's at loads. All you gotta do is say to him, I come from the Blue Tick Show, help me make some money. And I know most of these people out there, scams, and there's plenty of people out there offering you millions and millions of pounds and stuff like that. Louis is one of the 1% who actually do it properly, legitly. You don't need nothing. All you literally need is a phone and Wi-Fi. Send him a message and leave the rest to him. Guys, and if you wanna know why I'm sitting here pushing it so much, it's because realistically, doing a nine to five ain't gonna get you nowhere. And I know most people sit here and say this because they're getting some sort of commission for it and stuff like that, but I really ain't. I'm telling you as a good person, the host of the show, doing a nine to five ain't gonna get you nowhere. So go message Louis, say you come from the boutique show, just ask Louis for the business model, let him do the explaining and let him explain to you how he can help you. I'll see you soon. What's going on guys and welcome back to the Blue Tick Show, the world's fastest growing show. I'm your host Mikey Mellon and opposite me today, I got Flecker. From 13 years old, he was selling crack and heroin. You heard it right, 13 years old. Welcome to the show, my brother. What up, what up, what up, my boy, you good? Sit there with a smile on your face today, bro. <laughs> couple, couple years back, you were working. Hey, trust me, my boy, man. But listen, hey. listen, let's dive straight into it, man. I wanna dive straight into your life. We've got the viewers here, we've already told them what it's all about. From 13, you was, you was active on the roads. Talk to us about your upbringing, your childhood. Let's jump straight into it. Um, uh, basically, uh, yeah, man, I'm from Woolwich, South East London. Um, originally born in Ireland. I'm Irish, for those that don't know. Yeah, I came over here when I was eight. Um, yeah, man, pretty much. I wouldn't say I had a normal upbringing. I was about to cap, bro. I did not have a normal upbringing. It was normal up until the age of about eight. Come over here, you know what I'm saying? Parents split up, whatever. Uh, at the age of like, um, I think it was 12 or 13. Um, some going on in school or whatever, um, I ended up getting put into care. Well, me and my siblings, we got put into care. Um, but how things worked out, everyone got released back after a period of time. I'm the only one that got kept, you feel me? They kept you in care? Yeah, only they kept me in care. Because at that period of time, that 13, was like basically my introduction to the roles. And obviously because there, there was whispers in the neighbourhood, you know what I'm saying? They had an idea of what man was getting up to, you feel me? So they was like, yo, put me on a full care order. Yeah, um, there was my legal guardians, you know what I'm saying? My my my, uh, my parents had no say. Um, how was, how did your mom and dad take that? Uh, obviously my dad, he wasn't like, he's, 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 he's out here somewhere, <laughs> you know what I mean? He's out here somewhere, but my Margie, like, I'll be real. I think she looked at it like a blessing, like, a blessing kind of thing, like, cause she could see the the route that man was heading down towards. You feel me? So she was looking at it like, yo, like, it's the like, it's, it's not it's not ideal for her because yeah, obviously yeah, she course. wants me to be with her. But yo, like, if this is gonna keep me, if she thinks that yo, they're gonna keep me on the straight and narrow, then yeah, she was all for it. Like, she was just like, yo, just just do like basically whatever you need to do, like, so you can come home, kind of thing. But, and that was at thirteen. Yeah, and that's when you joined the road life. Uh, yeah, you could say that, yeah. How did you get introduced to, obviously, that world? Um, It's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of a funny story. It's kind of like happen chance, to be honest. Like, obviously, you man come from Woolwich. If you know Woolwich, like, bro, like... That's where all my guests are from. You know what I'm saying? Man? Like, CGM, Woolwich boys, you know what I'm saying? The history goes back, you know what I'm saying? Do your research. Like, man's like, bro, like, that's a... 
it's crack city, my boy. You feel me? That's the best way I can put it. It's crack city. Everyone's out here, my nigga. You feel me? So at that age, like, it was like, it was, it's like, it was, it's in the infrastructure. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's like everyone's out here. Everyone's at it. You feel me? So it was only inevitable for like the young to, you know what I'm saying? We look at the old. Like yo, yeah, yeah, these man are fly, these man, yeah, Bugatti on the block, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. These are making racks every day. It's like yo, I'm trying to be like that. So when I the opportunity came for me to like get involved with that, shit, like I was just yeah, straight away I was just like yeah, man, for that. Shit. And obviously like at the age I was at, I, it was like it was it wasn't really normal. It was kind of abnormal. Don't get twisted. Like it was half like dipping their toe into the road, but like as full as far as like yo, like jumping straight in knee deep, like yo, man's out here fully like. Yeah. So what, what did your job from 13 years old, what did it consist of your day in the life? What was you really involved in? Trapping, my boy. Like, bando living, bro. Like, man, lived in that, bro. Listen, for like, people who don't understand bando living, tell us, tell us really what it was about. A day in the life of you. What was, what did your day consist of? Normal day, like, bro, like, if there's, like, cats, like, customers, they're going to be ringing the phone. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, direct them to somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Normal stuff, man. Link them. Handle was you business. handling the drugs yourself at that age? Yeah, my boy. Yeah, I'm out here, bro. Like, in the bushes, bro. Like, camping in the bushes, bro. You feel me? Like, outside. Rain, sun, snow, sleet, whatever, bro. Outside, bro. From 13? From 13, bro. I weren't going home. You feel me? Was you, even, was you even getting paid? Of course I was, bro. Oh, for yeah. real, they were paying you good. Of course, like, like for a thirteen year old. Do you know what it is, bro? I've had guests, <laughs> I've had guests on here where they've said don't, like, and I was about to touch on that. Don't get twisted, like that come around, like if you know, you know, type of thing. Like not everyone was getting the same grace, type of thing. Like I can't even cap, but yeah, like if you're a member, like yeah, like you're good. You feel me? But because we're like man, man was man, man was early in the thing, bro. You yeah. feel me? Like man's foundation bro you feel me like <laughs> man's foundation so like, young exactly my brother so obviously my, all man's brothers like more around me they was all older than me you feel me so i kind of felt like i had a point to prove kind of thing you feel me so i was getting extra hard you feel me i'm doing things that i know certain don't want to be doing you feel me so like, like at that age i didn't realize that raw like when you reach a certain age when you're older like this thing it, it it has an effect on you. Yeah. It starts wearing on you. But me, I'm fresh in the thing. I'm I'm hungry. You feel me? I wanna. I'm eager to impress. You feel me? Like I wanna do everything, anything that you know. What I'm saying. You, you told me you go here. Yeah. When do I need to be there? Yo, this needs to go get. You know what I'm saying? This needs to get patterned. Watch. Who's yeah? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's young age. Bro. <laughs> young age. Young age. But obviously things change for you. Yeah. You, well, no, sorry. Things didn't change for you. You were stuck at the game from the age of thirteen. Talk us through your your year. How old was you? What year was it in in thirteen? Oh, uh, what? No, what? Two thousand eleven. So talk talk to us through the highlights of twenty eleven. <laughs> highlights of twenty eleven. God damn! Apart from hitting the block and getting into care and what was care like for you? Let's just touch on that a little bit quickly. I want to understand what care was like. Obviously, like from the outside looking in, even me, I had a per per perception of what being in care was going to be like because everybody's watched Tracy Beaker and all them thing there. You know what I'm saying? We all think like, oh, it's just the, the, like the dumping ground. You feel me? Like to some some aspects were like, kind of like that. Cause initially I started out in foster care. That's when you live with like another family. What were the family like? Um, the first, I can't lie, I had two families. The first family I had, they was calm. They was straight Christian goers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they went church, prayed, everything. Like they had, they tried to get money involved with that. You feel me? Like then, um, this was this was when they moved me out of the hood. Then something happened between the family. I think they had to go away or something. I had to come back towards the hood to be with another family. When I was with that family, um, they was more like lenient. You feel me? So when you're young, you take advantage of your freedom, bro. And that's exactly what I did. Like I clocked the leniency. I was like, yeah, man, I'm out of here, man. <laughs> I'm gone. So go on, tell us, tell us. Uh, yeah, man. Care, care for you was alright. Then let's let's just mm -hmm. say care was okay. Nah, bro. No, let me not lie no? to you. He was horrible, bro. I Hated it, bro. I'm so sorry for swearing. <laughs> I hated it, bro. I despised every minute of it, bro. Like for it's, real, it's not nice. Like obviously, I'm talking about it now. It's 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 easy to talk about in hindsight because like it's so many years ago. But like them that that little period of time that I was going through, like I can't lie, because I had so much authority hanging over my head, like making decisions on yeah. my life and where I live and who am I allowed to be around, where I can go and all them things there, like, it was, it had like a, it had an effect on me, bro. I became an angry kid, bro. Like, I hated authority. Like, I was 
anti-authority anything like police judges prison guards social workers you name it bro like i was anti-system you feel me and what age did you first get nicked at 13. what did you get nicked for obviously uh i got nicked for a shank and some and some weed yeah. What, what happened? Suspended sentence or did you go inside? No, what did I get? I think I got a a, a YRO. That's like a youth, re- youth rehabilitation order. That's what they call. Wait, is that wait YRO? Is that when you go? I can't remember if that's when you go jail or when they give you. It's like a yacht. What was it like? In, anyway, what was it like? Uh, bro, like because that was the first time you really got in trouble with the authority, right? From the first time I got nicked, bro, that's when these, the source workers were like, yo, like this this, this little youth's on some badness, bro. we need to get him out of here, bro. So that's when, can't lie, bro, they sent me wells, bro. <laughs> yeah, they sent me wells, bro. They had me living in the fields, bro. It was that bad. They sent you all the way to Wales. Yeah, they call it like a emergency care home kind of thing. Like, but it's like, I pretty much compare it to like mini jail. You feel me? Because they got you out in the sticks, bro. You got to do A, B, and C. You got to do certain activities, otherwise you get punished for it. What kind of activities are they making you do? They had a brother mountain climbing, uh, um, rock climbing, canoeing, kayaking. I'm, I've come <laughs> there. One minute, one minute, bro, one minute. You went there being a boy from the hood. This is what I'm saying, my brother. I come from southeast London, bro. You got me in Wales, bro, in the valley somewhere, bro. Surrounded by horses and cows, bro, and sheep, bro. Like you're telling me, I've come there in night trackies and. Bro, you was on. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from the hood. Get me out of it. No cap. <laughs> no cap. That's what it was like, bro. I, was, I swear down, bro. And obviously, when you go there, they told you, oh, the maximum you can be here is three months. After every month, though, like judge reevaluate probe, you. yeah, reevaluate you. See if you can come back to wherever you're from. Because they got kids from all over the country. Man, but bred people from Hertfordshire. People from Wales, Scotland, you know what I'm saying? Did you have over. any problems up there? No, you know, I was Gucci, like, bro. I mean, in terms of, like, other people, nah. Staff members, yeah, because, yeah, I, thought, bro, I was an angry kid, bro. Like, I can't lie, I got nicked up there, bro. You got nicked up there? Yeah, I got nicked in Wales. While bro. in prison, basically, you got nicked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could say that, yeah, something like that. So when they released you from, was it, did you have a release date or is it just your death? Yeah, you months? get a release date, bro, imagine. 13, bro, they're telling you, yo, this is your time that you can go home. Yeah. Uh, so I you... basically ended up staying the full three months. Yeah, they was like, not having it, bro. So you was clearly man. proper naughty up there. Yeah, man. So, so when you left, what was it like when you went, did they take you back to the hood? I wish, bro. Like, nah, bro. They was like, all right, cool, you've done your time here, but we still need to, like, watch over you kind of thing. You're, you're coming back closer to the hood, but you're not going to the hood. You're okay. going about, they took me, where's it called? Crawley, like a little town outside yeah, yeah. of the hood. That's where I caught my first uh, custodial sentence. At 13 years old, bro. Yeah, bro. So this is all in one year. So for me, within the space of just for me, getting into care, hitting the roads, getting nicked, get like, you know what I'm saying? Getting sent to Wells, coming back to the hood. <coughs> this is all within the space of one year. So 2011 was a mad year for mad you, bro. Year for me, bro. So yeah, cool. Um, yeah. Uh, got nicked for some, for a robbery charge, some. What, from 13, you're robbing as well. My brother, they had me outside of the hood, bro. You, you gotta understand, like, I've just come from, like, man's environment, like, man's used to getting money, bro, every day, bro. Like, man, live a certain type of way. So, in my head, I'm still trying to chase that, bro. You feel me? Like, I'm still trying to chase that. So, when they got me living in, in flipping Crawley, like, out of the hood, like, the first thing I've done when I got there was, like, they're telling me, yo, you can't have a phone, you can't contact nobody that no phone them. nothing no nah, if you do it has to be approved by them you feel me yeah oh, wow. you can't use social media no internet if you want to call somebody we have to call them and give you the phone all of that yeah bro like mini jail treat me like it's jail because this is how their excuse was like oh we're trying to protect safeguard you all that but yeah first thing i done was i went to the, i went to a flipping um a phone box rang the man them like yo listen I'm alive, like, <laughs> I'm alive. They're like, yo, where you been? I'm like, yo, listen, they snatched me up, bro. They had me in well. I'm back now, but yeah, I couldn't go to the hood. Really and truly, I could have just like, yes, that, you know what I'm saying? Like, really, when I think about it in hindsight, I should have just bounced, but I don't know. I was just trying to, just trying to be calm for a little bit, just so, see if I could do it in the right way, you feel me? But clearly, I ended up, yeah, getting caught up. Went, um, yeah, man, went jail for the first time. What was it like in jail? Um, I'll be honest, bro. On the way there, when they're telling me, yo, you're getting jail. You know what it's like, bro. Like, 
Obviously, you might not know what it's like, but you just, you just first time you just asking bare questions like, yo, what's it gonna be like? How many people's there? Da, 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 da. Obviously, like I went to Medway. That's a secure unit. That's like a like a, how can I like an introduction to jail? Yeah, like Ramon jail. No, not even. Huh? It's like a jail for like kids, bro. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Just okay, imagine okay. that. But yeah, I'm. They're telling me, yeah, it's like a, it's a secure unit you're going to. It's not not that many people there. Da, da, da. I'm getting excited, bro. I can't lie to you. I'm thinking, yo, this is gonna be lit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, there's there's man them over there. Like, yo, we get. They're telling me, yo, there's females there as well. Cause our thing, we had females. I swear down. Yeah, there's two secure units to have females. There's. So uh, you was thinking, yeah, I'm boy. I'm thinking, bro, like this ain't Joe and I can't, yeah, I can't lie. When I got there, like, bro, it was lit. It was lit. Not good to see. We got a crack in a few times, but yo, it was lit, man. Were those girls yeah. there and everything? Yeah, bro. Bro, yeah, them girls, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Active. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bro, you had the best time of your life. Hey, in my jail. brother. Hey, I can't lie. I met some real brothers in there as well. Some brothers I still call my friends to this day, bro. You feel for me? real? Yeah, for some sure. Proper boys over some there. Good, no, some good people, man. Free my brothers, man. Free cycle, man. Free Yaz, man. Okay, yeah. so in jail, you had a good time. We can't even touch on that and say you had a bad time there. Yeah, yeah. When that you, was initially. How initially. long was you in for? Uh, how long keep me there? Like, about three months on remand. Yeah, man, three months on remand, come out, got a road sentence. Yeah, man, hit the roads. Then they put me in another care home, put me in another care home. So you was just back and forth from care homes? Yeah, my brother, I can't lie, they had me, they had, they, they tried to Tracy Beaker me, bro. They tried to Tracy <laughs> Beaker me, bro. I can't lie, I can't lie to you. But yeah, um, what happened after that? Yeah, going to care home. I done some madness in the care home, like just petty. Shit. Got no, 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 we need to know this. Stuff. You know, this, this is the stuff that our viewers like. This, bro, they come on this channel where, where all the guests are like, oh, yeah, I done a madness. But anyway, let's not talk. No, no, we want to hear the madness is you done. This video is sponsored by Cranbrook Law, an award winning immigration law firm. Their talented solicitors can help when any struggles arise regarding immigration law they can help get you the visas they need they can help get you the staff you need from any other countries as you can see the website is on the screen right now so if you need anything to do with immigration law message cranbrook law and let them help you whether you're looking to obtain a sponsor license receive advice and guidance in relation to compliance and our civil penalties or take advantage of our know-how and experience across a broad range of business visas our talented and dynamic immigration lawyers are available to speak to you telephone numbers on the screen emails on the screen and hit the link in the bio if you need any help remember i told you i'm anti-authority even yeah. the medway bro like i was like bro i was getting it cracking with govs bro like we had For a real, real rumble we smacked up a gov like that was the on like a big thing in it at that time me and my brethren on the wing we smacked up a gov like you know what i'm saying but yeah when i come out obviously they put me in the care home i'm just angry bro i just my, forgetting the minute they've taken me out of the hood my main goal my main priority is to get back to the hood so now they've got me here i think i'm even on tag yeah, yeah. yeah, they got me on tag now. So, so what cop, address? I think I'm in Kent, uh, oh, Margate. Oh, oh, they took yeah. me to the beach. Yeah, they took me to the beach. Hear this though. <laughs> you see how life works out, bro? They had me in Margate, yeah? On tag. I couldn't go nowhere. I couldn't go to the hood. I couldn't yeah, do nothing. Yeah. Basically, I got into an argument with one of the staff. I smashed up the place, you know what I'm saying? Got a bit angry. Yeah, yeah. They've rung feds. I've got nicked. Then they're like, oh, my social worker's like... I'm about to get bail. I'm, I'm about to get bail. My social workers rang the police station like, yo, like, they need to chat to me. So they brought the phone to me in the cell, the feds, yeah? I'm chatting to my social worker. She's like, yo, I'll be real. They don't want to have you back. Like, we've checked, like, the local area. Um, There's no care homes within, like, the south, basically, that won't yeah. accept you. You feel me? Yeah. Because you're too bad. I was like, all right, cool. So I'm going, like, what's my day? And, like, they're like, yo, like, got two options. They're like, Birmingham or Liverpool. Me, that's never been outside of flipping London. They're telling me Birmingham or Liverpool. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Nah, this, there, there must be a mistake. Like, we must have to work something out. They're like, nah, man, Birmingham, Liverpool, like, those are the only options. Obviously, I'm trying to work it out. I'm thinking, bro, I need to get out of this police cell, number yeah. one. But I can't go nowhere because I don't have nowhere to live. They're like, yo, we've got the things set up, basically. Like, depend on your decision, you feel me? I'm thinking, what's closest, you feel me? Like, what's closest I can get away from? So I'm calculating all this in my brain, you feel me? So I'm like, right, cool, you know what? We're going to Birmingham. <laughs> I was like, right, cool. Anyway, long story short, gone Birmingham now. I'm living in the care home over there. I've hated it as soon as I landed. Funny accents, just 
That's it. Ah, the hood. I'm just like, yo, this is Shout not me. Shout out to all my bro. Shout out to my brother, the people, man. You know I got love for you, like, man. Trust me, I got some certainty, bro. But, yeah, this is old 12, my boy. I ain't never been burning in my life, bro. I'm thinking, yo, what's going on here? I'm thinking, bro, let's get back to the hood. Anyway, long story short, I'm there for a bit now. I'm on tag there now as well. I've ended up catching a case up there. Um, when I got over there, like, I just needed something to keep myself occupied. Yeah, yeah. Man just ended up falling back into what man's used to, man. No, you know what I'm saying? Man got involved with, you know what I'm saying? Then certain things, I've ended up getting nicked and they slapped me on tag. Put me on tag. So obviously now I can't leave. Like, yeah, I'm bound to man. Birmingham. You feel me? I have to become a Birmingham. You, you feel me? Like, so whilst I'm there, I'm trying to integrate with the with the, with the the fabrics, what's going on. Made to one, two, brethren. Everything's calm. But I'm getting towards the end of my tag time now. Like, I'm thinking, yeah, like, I need to get out of here yeah like, how am i gonna how am i gonna escape this so towards the end of my tag time obviously remember they told i told you they said i can't come to the hood yeah obviously um towards the end of my tag time they're like oh obviously you've been behaving whilst you've been up here now well we're, we're gonna basically start drip feeding you basically into the yeah, hood. yeah. slowly slowly and slowly slowly, slowly so like cool we're gonna take you on visits you can go there um and flipping stay for a bit come back no nothing no no nonsense all right cool done that a few times then it got to a point where I was like, yo, this is long. I can't keep going back to Brum. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm about to come off tag. This is all long. So the last time they took me, they brought me to the hood with the man them and that. I just ended up lodging them. You feel me? They would end up going back to Birmingham, ringing off my phone. I've ended up getting reported missing, all of that, all of that stuff. And that was another thing. I was uh, known as a misspa, a missing person. So that's like, that was like a thing that was on my file. Like, okay, yeah, if yeah. I get stopped by Jake's, it's going to come up misspa. So as soon as they see me, they have to take me or hold me until somebody from the care home has to come get so me. So you're basically done. Fed stop you, you oh, got to right. move. And it used to happen, bro. Like, it's happened, bro. I won't be in the band all. The band all get raided. Obviously, all the men and they're grown. You feel me? I'm the young little Like, they're doing name checks, name checks, name checks. Yeah, cool. You can go, you can go, you can go. You, you're missing. You're coming back to the station with us. You feel me? So they'll take me away from the man them i'm just there like, why is it always me i'm just the only one they'll, they'll have me in the station with the jakes will tell me like yo yeah yeah wait for your for your um care home people to come get you you feel me so they'll come all the way from birmingham yeah come get me from from thingy wherever i got nicked and they will pick you up again pick me up take me to birmingham do you know what i used to do they kick me up from birmingham um station take me to birmingham i'll go there have a shower eat sleep and then back the next morning back to the hood <laughs> jump on the train bro. back to the hood straight bro. away back to the hood bro I'm, and I'm hitting the block, bro. Yeah. You're not going to get me again until I get nicked. <laughs> yeah. That was my mentality. Yeah, you were really, really, really outside. And I got a phone call from one of my brethren in Brum one day, like, yo, like, Lex, like, yo, where are you? Like, what are you dealing with? I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, bro, like, there's missing posters of you, like, all over town, like. What? They put pictures of you on the yeah, town? Yeah, bro. I'm like, what do you mean, bro? He goes, bro. He goes, bro, there's missing posters of your, with your face saying, yo, call this number if you see this. You, you know what I'm saying? I've gone on Google Armed now. and dangerous. <laughs> bro, I've gone on Google now, typed in my name. Bare articles talking about missing, missing, missing. If you see this, you, if you see this kid, call him last scene at this location. Da, da, da. I'm thinking, no, nah, they got a they got man looking crazy. Bro. Crazy. Like, talking about, yo, run away from this guy home, known to be in here. So every spot I used to get nicked in, it was hot. they'd like report that. The feds will tell the care home yeah. people. So on the missing thing, all these little OT spots that I've, got nicked in it's down on my thing like yo if you see him in for example Norwich let, please know if you see him in Kent if you see him in Ipswich like bro it was mad most wanted 14 year old in the world bro <laughs> oh bro I said and it felt like it my G it felt like it but at that age bro like why like, did you want to go back to the hood so bad bro didn't you just think to yourself you know what let me just chill here ride the wave and just try to be sensible did that not cross your mind once not once bro not once not even for a millisecond. You just wanted to be out there in the hood. Not even in the hood, my bro. Because my I wasn't only in the hood. That's about to lead on to you now, bro. Like, around this time period, this is when man um, basically discovered OT kind of thing. You feel me? Because like, the man then was like, bro, like, we need to step out there. You feel me? So we started getting cunch. For those who don't know, cunch, that's like, OT, county lines, whatever you want to call it. Um, first place I went was Ipswich, bro. Uh, built started the phone Ipswich, yeah man. Their numbers, excuse me. Uh, 
Doing numbers. What do you mean by doing numbers? How much were you making? <laughs> you lot are not gonna believe me, but bro, like when man went there, like cool. First day man's gone there, made a bag, like the off first the rip, day, off the rip, like. And what did you say? First few hours, crack, bro. Like, crack, bro. Crack and heroin, bro. But yeah, off the rip, a bag. That's a good indication. Any spot that man go to, man make a bag the first night. That's it's an a indication of yeah, man's gonna stay here. If man make less than a rack, I'm out of here. If you want me, man's freedom is not. And worth when that. you're when you're selling this crack to these people, yeah, they must be like zombies, bro. Bro, you'd be surprised, bro. I've had doctors that's crackers, bro. For I've real? had doctors. Because they, everyone used to say back in the day, cocaine was a businessman drug, yeah? Yeah, crack is a is a poor man's thingy. Crack is... <sighs> poor man's coke. Literally, a poor man's coke. But crack turns you into, people say, it's crackhead, yeah? And that is when you see someone who loses everything mm. for crack. Mm. You must have experienced from such a run... run yeah. You must have experienced from such a young age seeing these people's lives change. You must have seen someone come from being a normal, normal person, person to being a zombie. Yeah. Did yeah. you experience that whole time lapse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that. I've seen man. I've seen women like yo, like they come like normal girl that you see walking down the street, bro. Give it a year max, bro. They're done. Unrecognizable, bro. And bro, did that on a on a genuine level? Maybe now when you look back at it, things are a bit different. But did mm. that never make you think, bro? Oh, this is mad, or was you just involved? Um, I'll be honest, bro. I was that youth that if man was in a in a in a trap or whatever, like depending on the size or whatever, rooms or whatever, bro, there's always a bit where the cat, my, my used to, our thing was different. We never used to go out and serve. We used to let them in. So okay, okay, they okay. come knock on the door, we let them in, we serve them, let them keep it pushing, you feel me? Barricade the door, you feel me? So what what that used to do was like, because man was inviting, they would like want to come chill, you yeah. feel me? So and buy more, sort, sit there. Boom, exactly, the more chill, the more, exactly, you get the thing. So, they would have a bit where they just chill and smoke. Like, I'll be there with them. Obviously, not smoking, but chilling. I'm chatting to them. Like, because I'm young, I'm inquisitive. Like, I'm thinking, bro, like, what are you, how, how'd you end up here? Like, so I'll be having yeah. conversations, like, hours long, like, trying to get to know their lives, bro. Like, what was you doing? Like, how did you... Like, I've had man tell man, yo, their family got their money, their Marge, their pops, their brother, their sister. You feel me? Now, next thing you know, the whole family smokes, bro. And it's been going on, it's been going on the generation for them family for generations yes. bro guys have you been thinking of move to dubai i've partnered up with cranbrook legal to make your experience so much easier literally i got the main man from cranbrook legal right now to tell you how easy it is guys it's as simple as picking up the phone giving us a call and letting us get on with the business what literally one phone call literally one phone call a few documents and we're there and then I just get up, fly to Dubai, and I ain't got to pay tax no more. Yeah, but you can come and see us. We'll take you out for a meal, show you Dubai, and then it's all up to you after that. Bro, where do I sign now? Because you, you, you see millionaires who lose it all. Most definitely. I've seen millionaires that still start, that functioning crackheads, bro. Functioning. I've seen millionaires, bro, with better, like, live better than man, bro. What, crackhead? That, that man was shot in, man. The, that, that the person that us as the uh, shutters, yeah, I've seen our butt crackheads that live better than us. No cap, full out crackhead, full out crackhead, bro. Smoking every day, bro. Hundreds of pounds every day, bro. Man drives a Range Rover, bro. Lives in a mansion. Yeah, but has he function? Because bro, everyone's ever, I, I, do I put I, do I see? I feel like everyone's tolerance is different. So like, it's different, like because. Some people, they smoke a pipe and they go do lally. You finished. know what I'm saying? They're done. finished. They're done. They can't talk. They're paro. They're, you know what I'm saying? They're all of them things. Some people, they smoke a pipe and it's like, bro, they... Mellows them out. Mellows them out. Or some of them, they do both. You know what I'm saying? One balances the other. You know what I'm saying, bro? Each to their own, my boy. But yeah, man. That's just like what I've seen, like, bro. Like, it's crazy. And it's like, you see, in, in man's hood, in Woolwich, like, Cause it's like in the hood. I, f I think it's the same for every hood. But like, bro, you certain these crackers, bro. You seen them grow up. They've seen yeah. you grow up, bro. And that now you're serving them, bro. It's weird, bro. It's crazy. You see like, any violence? Yeah, of course, bro. This comes hand in hand with it, bro. What kind of violence you see, bro? <sighs> you want me to get a graphic? Tell us, bro. See man get chef, bro. Like, yeah. Psh. I don't even want to talk too crazy, but yeah, you know, like, wait, like, it gets like that, bro. Like, it really gets Was like that. Was you ever that, scared? Me? Yeah. Me? <laughs> mm. Honestly, bro, from a listen, when you're, when you're 14 years old, you've got people walking around with knives stabbing people around you. 
Surely you see. Bro, I was one of them mutes you have to look out for. I'll be real, bro. For real. I was one of them mutes, like, bro. And it's not not something that I'm proud of, like, but bro, like, when you're doing this thing, bro, when you go to, put it this way, man was, man's going to cities and towns man's never been to before, bro. Like, you don't know what you're going to meet when you get there. There might be other there that's like, they had the thing pattern. Now you got to regulate. Because our thing was like, bro, anywhere we go, we're taking over, bro. So, you know what that comes with, bro. Did you, you know have a saying? knife on you all the time? Well, 24s, bro. Really, for real, yeah, you wouldn't bro. leave the house without a knife. I'll be real, man. Don't man never. Re- I'll be real, man. Ne- man didn't really used to like step with it everywhere because our mentality was like, well, my mentality was like, bro, if I get stopped right now, I'm getting jail for a shank, bro. There's no point. I ain't got ops like that to the point where it's like, I know they're looking for me or whatever, but bro, you just had it just in case you need to. Swoop. If man see a cat snatcher in the town and it's oh, it gets yeah, like yeah, it could get that, bro. It could get that, but. I'll be real, like, there's, there's been incidents where, like, the table slipped on me, bro. Yeah, bro. What do you I've mean? What's to... happened? <laughs> oh, God damn. I've had instances where, nigga, bro, I've had to jump out of a window before, bro. Second For real? Second window, bro. Why? What happened? It was in the hood, innit? Like, if you know, you know kind of thing. If I told this story, the people that probably done it, they're probably going to recognise and be like, yeah, that was us. But, yeah, till this day, I don't even know who it was. But, you feel me? It is what it is. Like, bro, man's in the hood, bro. Man's jogging, bro. Same shit man's been doing, like, man's whole life, bro. But the way we had regulated in man's hood, like, I don't even want to sound like man's gassing up the thing. Like, we was was governed. You yeah, feel yeah. me? We was patent, like, one or the thing, yeah. No one stepping out of line kind of thing. You feel me? That's just how it was. Like, yeah. set, every hood's different. You feel me? Our hood was regulated, you know what I'm saying? Like, hierarchy thing. So... We was Gucci, you feel me? Like, man didn't fear nothing. Man didn't wonder. Man didn't think about next youth. Man didn't think about, nah, bro. So when this happened, it was like, it was a bit weird. or like, yo, like, sh- you, you's brave enough to be trying to be doing all this. Like, but yeah. Anyway, long story short, man's in a band all one day. I'm with me and my brethren. I'm there lotioning to a girl, just chatting, 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 chatting. Now. But obviously me, how man chill, like, don't, I might be lotioning, but I'm on point, bro. You feel yeah. me? I'm on point. So anytime the door rings, obviously we got a barricade on the door. You feel me? Anytime the door rings, check the spire hole, let them through the barricade, whatever, whatever. Cool. Um, di- um, this time, it's like four o'clock in the morning, bro. You're not expecting anyone to come through the front door at four no, o'clock I in am, the morning? I am, I am, I am. No, I but heard. you're not expecting beef, I mean. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm chilling, bro. We're lacking, bro. I'm saying we're chilling. Like, 4 a.m. in the morning. If anything, I'm more thinking about Jake's, bro. Because, okay. like, 5, 6 a.m. Yeah, in the morning. Their, that's their sweet spot. Exactly. So, try to catch niggas lacking. But I'm thinking about Jake's. So, cool. I've heard a knock on the door. Gone check the spire hole. Um, it's a it's a it's a smoker. You feel me? Let them in now. But where man was it's like a block of flats, like a little mini one. So we was at the top. So when man bust the door, um, man can like you can literally just go down the stairs and you'll be at the front door. There's no there's nothing okay, yeah, yeah. restricting the front door to our door. You feel me? So as man let the cat in, I'm hearing like running up the step, like up the steps. I'm thinking, but obviously I can't see no faces yet. So me being, I'm thinking, bro, it's not like, fine trying to find out who the f- like. I'm thinking it's Jake's bro trying to run in, yeah, yeah, yeah. put the barricade on. Cause I'm thinking, bro, that sounds booky. Like you feel me? Yeah, yeah. Look for the spy hole. I'm just seeing ballies, bro. I'm just seeing ballies on ballies on ballies, bro. You feel me? I'm thinking, oh my god, I'm in a yard full of cats, bro. You feel me? Yeah. Like they're not doing much. They ain't f- cool, bro. Like I'm my bridging, he's snoozing. You feel me? I woke him up like, yo, like, like, it's that time, you feel me? These times, <clears throat> I've him, yo, go check the window. See how many's out there, bro. He's looked at the window. He goes, bro, I can't lie, it's peak. I said, what? He goes, bro, there's like 10 man out there, bro. Like, that's not including the n- that's here. Like, yeah, like, front yeah, of man. So it's about 20 man. Yeah, I'm saying, I'm thinking, oh my days. I'm thinking, my n- yo, like, it could be peak. You feel me? Man's got one shank between us. You feel me? One smelly little kitchen thing. You feel me? Next thing I know, from when I've, remember, I've seen, so from when I've shut the door, put the barricade on, my bedroom's gone check the window, I'm looking for spiral, I'm hearing, yo, bust the door. You feel me? Yeah, bust the door for what, bro? Busting the door, like, yo, bust the door, man's gonna, yeah, air the thing out, you feel me? I'm thinking, bro, Flex are gonna get corn behind his door, you feel me? <laughs> I'm thinking, nah. It's a cool now, anyway, they, f- they started licking off the door, you feel me? Licking off the door, licking it, licking it, licking it, licking it, like. So, I'm trying to hold the thing, like, yo, like, you are not coming, you are not coming in. I'm not dying here today, bro. I'm not dying here today, bro. Mm-hmm. So man's holding the door. The door's like, it's coming off the hinges now, you feel me? So I've had to like make a calculation like, bro, 
How many more kicks still I need to move? How many more ticks, you know what I'm saying, can this door hold? Because, like, bro, they're going to get in eventually, bro. The thing's off the hinges, bro. Yeah. It's coming, separating from the wall, you feel me? <laughs> Cats are just getting mad, like, yo. Da, 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 da. I'm holding the door. I'm, I'm, next thing I'm, I'm seeing, come through the letterbox. What, knives? Yeah, bro. Like, four or five of them coming through the letterbox. I'm saying, nah, later, 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 later. So, cool. I've stuck on a countdown in my head. I'm seeing the thing's about to cave in. I said, yo, I told the cat, listen, open the window. Open that flipping, uh, the, fl- the, the living room window. I said, make sure it's clear. I said to myself, count a free flex, go. Don't even think, bro, go. I said to myself, I had one lick, one. Second one, two, three. I didn't even wait. I just pushed the door, cut. I didn't even, bro, I don't even know. God just said this to me. I just went feet first out the window, bro. Bro, imagine as I'm about to jump out the window, one of my cats is hanging out the window. He's hanging out the Don't ask me what he was doing. Chippy, you're a legend till this day, bro. This brother's hanging off the window, bro. I'm saying, bro, I, I feel like he just got paranoid. You feel me? Like, he smoked a pipe. He's thinking, no, they're coming for him. He's hanging out the window. I'm like, bro, I've missed him, bro. I've literally just leapt over him, landed on my feet, done a roly-poly. Because, like, where we where man's jumped out to, it's like a little garden, little community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? So I've landed on the thing. I've tried to get up and whoop. My legs are done. My legs are done. I've got oh, up, I've wow. dropped straight away. So what I've had to do, because what I'm thinking, I'm thinking, yo, they're going to come round. I'm waiting for them to come round and finish yeah, the job, yeah, you feel yeah. me? So I'm just there like, it's dark, you feel me? It's 4 a.m. in the morning. I've had to drag myself like to like a corner, a dark corner. Like, no cap, bro. Yeah. I've had to drag myself to a dark corner and just wait, basically wait. Wait to get chef, bro. You feel me? So I'm just there waiting now. I'm thinking, yo, where's my bridging? My bridging ain't even jumped yeah, out the window he? yet. He ain't even jumped out the window yet. So I'm thinking, oh my days, he's collapsed, bro. You feel me? Anyway, um, I'm hearing sirens now. I'm thinking, yo, what's going on? Like, how's 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 man how's man hearing? Bro, this has just happened. How's this how's the feds coming already? Yeah. I'm thinking, bro, did they call feds? <laughs> I'm thinking, yo, who's called Jake's? So cool, I'm thinking, no, I'm not getting nicked here, man. That's what I've done. I've managed to just drag myself to a fence, climb over the fence, and I've waited there now until basically, like, things have died down a little bit. You feel me? Feds turn up? Yeah, feds turn up. Like, feds are all over the yard, bro. All over the yard. Like, my brethren's in the yard. Feds have grabbed him. You feel me? My brethren's end up staying in the yard. He's, like, in the kitchen somewhere. They didn't even go in the kitchen. They run in the yard, just come looking. You know what I'm saying? What were they looking for? Drugs? Money? What? Whoa. God knows, bro. God knows, bro. He knows, bro. <laughs> but yeah, man. <laughs> so what, you just waited till it cooled off and then... Wait till it cooled off. I've come back around to the front of the yard. I'm seeing bare jakes. I've seen my brethren, like, with the jakes. I'll just pretend like I don't know him. Just kept it warm, kept yeah, it yeah, loose. Cool, standard. But now I'm, being, I'm angry, though. Like, I'm I'm thinking, like, who the fuck has tried to do this? You just make me jump out of a window. Are you mad? So it's 4 a.m. in the morning. I run to man's local cab station. You feel me? So... I'm in the cab now. I'm trying to find out. Yo, I'm going around to everywhere. Anyone I could possibly think who it is, I'm going there. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. So, like, obviously, it's dead out. It's a ghost town. But I'm thinking, yo, this is weird, bro. This is weird. Anyway, long story short, didn't end up finding out who it was. You didn't? Like, no, didn't find out. But, man, man listen, I've got an idea, man. But, see, you think, see, think about me. See, karma. Yeah, man. It works in crazy ways, bro. What did the boys say? Obviously, it's older, isn't it? What were they all saying the next morning? Man, them, they're like, yo, like, who the man think it could be? Like, but yeah, man, just, man just charged it to the game, bro. Charged it, bro. Didn't find out who it was, but man's got, an, man had a yeah, very good course, idea of who it was, you feel me? But yeah, man, it is what it is, man. This shit happens, bro. You know what I'm saying? Man's done a few things in my life. You know what I'm saying? The tables turn yeah, on that day. Have, yeah, tables have to turn yeah, somewhere. Yeah, man, for sure. And alhamdulillah, bro, nothing got touched, bro. You feel me? I was on crutches for like a week though. I had to go to hospital because of my leg, bro. Cause when I jumped out the window, I landed on my on my like I landed feet first and done a roly poly. But the impact of me yeah, landing, shock, boom. Yeah, bro, my foot, sw- my my leg swelled up, bro, to like the size of a tree trunk, bro. I couldn't walk on it. I could not walk. But man's still hitting the block in my crutches, bro. Best believe that, bro. Trust me. <laughs> when did you go to jail, bro? Uh, well, basically just before that, I'd um I went to first time I went to youth offenders. That's like. Young Joe, basically. Young Joe, basically, yeah. So, yeah. First time I went there, it was it's kind of a... It's a funny story. Not even funny. It's kind of sad, to be honest, when I think about it, bro. It's kind of a sad story, but... Like, the first time I went to jail for... um, 
uh, uh, when I was uh, 15. It wasn't actually my fault, bro. I'll be real. Um, someone I was jogging with, like they done some funky sh. Like we got raided. They done some funky sh. Basically, like threw the pack at man kind of thing. You feel me? No cap, bro. Man playing volleyball with the thing, bro. But yeah, we both ended up getting nicked. I've ended up pleading guilty. Yeah. Cause I'm just I'm young. I'm You're just getting thinking, less time as well. Yeah, I'm think? just thinking, yo, fuck this, bro. I just want to get out of here as soon as possible. But when I'm in the interview room, my solicitors come forth with like some information, like yo, like sh- like your code, he might be like. You know what I'm saying? Like, talking kind of thing. I'm like, oh, bro, I lie, bro. Lie, bro. Obviously, like, my man's brought the paperwork. Like, he showed me the thing in black and white, bro. Like, yo, my man said he's seen the drugs fall from your pocket. You feel me? In black and white. You feel me? So, me as a 15-year-old, like, this youth's are older than man. You feel me? So, I'm looking at, bro, you're a scumbag. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually had love for you. Like, you're a scumbag. Like, trying to do my like that. But anyway, I pleaded guilty. You feel me? Off yeah. the rip. Yeah, yeah, straight away. Cool, I've gone jail now. I've started my little bird or whatever. But little do I know, obviously he's he's gone home. He didn't go jail, he went home. So little do I know, like he's gone out, he's hit the roads, he's saying all this and whatnot. Like basically making it look like I'm, it's my fault I'm in jail. You yeah. feel me? It's cause I ain't I've hit the, I've gone jail. I ain't even chatting to like that. You feel me? I'm just trying to do my time. But when I actually rang Nick man like, yo, I got like ch- catch up and that like da da da. My man spreading like saying like yo that like, was your kind of fault. I'm thinking nah man you're tweaking nah man. Did you tell him we snitched? Cool, bro. I come out of jail with the paperwork, bro. I come out of jail, bro. Good I had that whole bird, bro. How long did you do in there? On about eight months. But so when you're involved in that life, yeah, what is snitching is a big thing. Most definitely. Everyone says like boom, don't snitch, keep your mouth shut. Snitches get stitches. Like that's the motto on the roads, yeah. Mm. Do you end up trusting anyone or is your ho- do you just not trust anyone now? I'll be honest, bro. At that time period, I would, my, uh, my heart was so open. My heart was open. Like, trusted everyone. Trusted everyone. I loved everyone. Like, I will tell you, like, yo, at that time, like, bro, none of my brethren could do no wrong in my eyes. They was, yeah, they could do no wrong. You what about me? now? <laughs> now? I feel like this comes with life, bro. Like, life experiences. Especially in this on the roads bro like there's so many so many so many different ways you can have learning experiences bro anything you do like something you could get done dirty something does you wrong like somebody tries to run like you know what i'm saying bear yeah. shit, bro. you learn bear shit. and obviously now man's a seasoned vet in this thing like bro like my skin is like it's it's fit to your shit, you know all the, all, the, all the tricks in the book exactly bro you've seen I'm it spot that bro so it's like i don't I don't off the rip just trust somebody off the rip for no reason. You feel me? Because, yeah, man, man's been burnt, bro. Feel me? But so when yeah. you got out of prison, what was it like then? Did you go, st- bro? You can't keep guys straight back to it, bro. Like, man, come out of jail, you can't bro. Just keep I going come back out of jail. Wait, wait, let me ca- let me not lie to you. I come out of jail sixteen, bro. Yeah. And um, did I come out on tag? Nah, no, t- nah, no tag. I done my whole thing. I didn't even get my HDC. Come out, bro. I'm gonna hit the block, bro. You got, bro, you got to understand, bro, like, hitting the block, bro, like, it's oh, it's not oh, it's not just, obviously, it's a place where things get done, but yeah. it's not just, like, a hit, like, selling drugs thing, bro. For us, we're young youths, bro. That's that's our hub. That's our home. That's why my link man's brethren. That's my link gal. You know what I'm saying? We smoke weed there. We eat. You know what I'm saying? We f- together. We get money. You know what I'm saying? We do whatever we want. We're young. You are having our way, bro. You feel me? So it's like when you're away from that, it's like, bro, I want to get back to that as much as possible. Why is it? Did you not realize at this point I've been jailed three times? Like, it's the same thing every time. Yes, I know. But that's what I'm saying. It's so easy to say that now because when you're older, it's looking at it, you're thinking, brother, are you dumb or something? But like, when, like, bro, I would have to, you have to chuck to like some of my brethren's, like, yeah, yeah. to also get their perspective because from. So you, it's like a community centre. You're going back to all your mandem. You're going back to all your boys. You're going to chill. It's not even you're going back to be a criminal. You're going yeah, to see Yeah, like, really and truly. Like, yeah, if man think about it. Because obviously, man knows that, yeah, man's going to be doing whatever. But that's just part of the thing, bro. That like, we don't even look at it like that, bro. That's just normal stuff. Like, yeah, cool, cat comes, yeah, serve them. Get the piece cut, back to business. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's normal stuff. Man don't look at it like, oh, yeah, we're trapping and doing this, bro. No, that's your life. It's that's your just how man's life, bro. That's how man live. You feel me? So, yeah, man, come out, hit the block. Yeah, my shit was Gucci. I've ended up going to jail for um, about six months later for some bull. I didn't even get nicked for nothing. Um, I got recalled. 
Cool. So I've had about a month left on my license. He got recalled. But they scummed me though. Check this. They've scummed me now. Um, they breached me. I was When they released me, they put me in a hostel uh, yeah. in Lewisham. They're like, oh yeah, you've got to live and sleep in this address. Like That's standard license conditions. But yeah. me being a young I'm like, yo, f- all of that, bro. Like, I don't care. I'm outside, bro. You feel me? Like, so cool. Um, yeah, like these lot, they was like in liaison with my youth offending worker. So, and anytime I used to like not come to the yard and sleep there, they'd snitch, they'd snitch on man. You feel me? So it got to a certain point where like too many times it happened. So they just breached me, sent me court. But check this. You see, when you go court for like breach or something, something you've got to get like reports or whatever from your youth offending and. Basically, people that can just help mitigate your your case, your case basically. You feel yeah. me? So your youth offender worker has to give like a report for you to be like oh, your 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 conduct on this on on the roads and however your whatever your your progress in life and whatever. And basically, it was all round. Everybody was giving me positive reviews. Oh. Everybody said they basically recommended do not send this man to jail. <laughs> That's basically what they said. Do not send this young man to prison. But for some reason that day, the judges they was not having it. For real? I had about 60 days on my, 60 something, no, 50 something days on my license. And there were about six weeks. So I was like, yeah, man, go do that, bro. <laughs> go do that. Rah. Well, I kind of, I kind of, it was a blessing and a curse in disguise because when I, when I got sentenced, man's in the court cells, man's, man's yacht workers come down to me. He goes, yo, I'll be real. I'm so sorry. I'm like, what are you saying sorry for? He goes like, bro, that should, this should not have, this should not be happening. Like, he goes, I can't for the life of me think of what reason why they're trying to send you prison. They're like, he goes, the only thing I can put it down to is racism. Because that's the only thing that, my yacht worker saying this to me. I'm like, I will start feeling like, you know what? It's calm, man. Because I'm thinking like, bro, this feels bad. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. bad. I'm like, yo, you know what? It's calm. My man's Gucci. I'll be out in a couple of weeks, man. It's calm, bro, whatever. He goes, nah, man. It's that, that's, this is horrible. This is injustice. He's getting mad. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, no, nah, man, it's calm. I'm with Gucci. Anyway. They sent me cook and wood now. Mm-hmm. Man's a cook and wood. Um, yeah, man. Cook and wood was a was a funny one. Like this little period was a funny one. I can't lie to you. Like I've ended up meeting. Uh, I got it cracking a few times, but let me tell you a funny story. So cool now. Man's gonna cook and wood. Remember, I told you. Obviously, I didn't tell you, but I didn't explain deeply. But when man's jogging and doing whatever, doing all, across, um, all over the country and that, man's got youths from. Everywhere. Block, everywhere, you feel me? Yeah. Every block, every hood, they're coming to Hitman's blocks, you feel me? Like, no shade on no hood, but you lot know, you feel me? Like, mm. at one stage, there's someone from every hood that's been, that's come through our system. Mm-hmm. Put it that way. Yeah, yeah 100. Me? So, man, man's got, man, man's, 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 man's tied in with a lot of people, you feel me? So, man's brethren's on the road, man's at the time, they're from Tottenham, you feel me? I've ended up meeting some, um, some new, um, Donald, my yeah, brother yeah. Donald, free Donald, man. He's done a life sentence right now. What's he inside for? Madness, bro. Madness, bro. Like, yeah, man. Just unfortunate events, bro. Let's put it that way. Yeah. But yeah, man. Free him. But yeah, I've ended up meeting him. And we've just locked in straight away. Like, you know them people you just meet straight off the bat? Yeah, yeah. That's Chemistry, guy. yeah. So that's my guy now. So me and him, we're getting back and forth now. You know what I'm saying? Anything that go on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's me and you against the world. If you feel me type of thing. So, um, uh, so yeah, we've all um, we've got moved to wings now. But where we've got moved to, see, young offenders, Joe, it's a bit different to adult. Like certain man, oh, this way, like certain man, they try. People feel like they got points to prove. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. So when man at Cook and Wood at the time, like was um, was like, how can I put it? Um, certain people had things in certain ways. Put it that way, and certain and most people wasn't trying to go against that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, against the, what's the word? Status quo. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? So, yeah. So, me and Donald, we've come in the thing like, yo, f- call it this, bro. I don't know what you lot are playing. Like, man's not part of that. You feel me? The man's man's own, man's man's own money. You feel me? But obviously, like, they're going to like that. So, uh, anyway, long story short, my brethren, um, yeah, Donald, he's ended up uh, getting into like a little passer pass with someone. But these times, I've been behind my door. So, cool. This is like early in the morning. I'm hearing alarm bells going. These guards, the guards, the guards are just about in the middle of opening people's doors for like exercise or whatever. So it's like eight o'clock in the morning. They've come to my door. The door's open. The alarm bell's gone off. So my man, he's like cut. Instead of like locking my door, 
he just left my door open and gone to like to where the alarm is. But the alarm's on my wing, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. And obviously, if you know cooking wood wings, they're just like one long little thingy. It's not like landings. It's like an open hall. Yeah, like an open hall kind of thing. You feel me? You've got cells on either side. So at the end of the landing, my bedroom's getting it cracking. But me, I'm, I've just like woke up kind of thing. I'm in my boxes, bro. You feel me? <laughs> so I've stuck my head out like, yo, obviously when the alarm bell goes, you want to see, yo, he's getting it cracking. You feel me? I've stuck my head out. I've seen my bedroom getting it cracked. I'm like, yo, he mad. I'm like, put my clothes on. I'm like, no, no time. I've just run down the landing in my boxes, bro. The first person I see, I've, you know when you power up? <laughs> <laughs> bro, my father was in Dragon, Dragon Ball Z. Z. I sized someone up, bro. I said, yeah, <laughs> you. Man, powered up the thing, my broski. Man just gave him the Hadouken. You feel me? <laughs> boom, we're getting it cracking, we're getting it cracking. My brethren's getting it cracking with two man, you feel me? Boom, 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 boom. Anyway, long story short, things... um. Everyone's got split up and that. Everyone's yeah. got put in. But we're on the same wing. You feel me? You're going to see each other. Exactly. So they just put everyone in their cells and lock them behind their cells. You feel me? If you know you offenders, yo, people like talking shit out the doors. You feel me? So long story short, my brethren and who he's got it cracking with, they end up chatting to each other behind the door. Me, I don't do the... Talking well, stuff. Like, yeah, I don't do all that. I just listen and laugh. You feel me? So I'm hearing all that little back and forth. It's funny. You feel me? Obviously, we just got it cracking with you, but we can still chat. You feel me? So them on a busting joke, like, I think the you uh, um my brethren got it cracking with, he had his shoe in his cell. Don't ask me how. <laughs> he had his shoe in his cell. My mum was like, bro. And they had the same crepes. It's funny. They had the same crepes. My mum was like, bro, like, taking the piss that, bro, like, your crepes are looking beat up at that, looking mad. Anyway, long story short, man's chatting. I've heard my man say, like, where he's from, kind of come. My brethren was like, yo, where you actually from? Come, I don't know these youths. Yeah, where are you from? Yeah, where are you from? Like, I just got it cracking with you, like, my man's like, yo, I'm from Tottenham, like. I've heard Tottenham. I'm saying, huh? I've gone to my dorm, like, you said said from Tottenham? I said, brother. I'm like, I said, you're not from Tottenham, fam. He goes, brother, you mad. He goes, brother, man's from Tottenham. I said, brother, who do you know, fam? My man's going, da, 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 da. he's not trying to tell me who you know. Do you feel me? I'm like, bro, do you know my, because I know who, my, who we fuck with on the road, and I know, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. He's, if you don't know him, yeah, you're no one. You feel me? I said, like, bro, what, do you know my man? He goes, yeah. He goes, yo, that's my brother, fam. That's my, that's my family. You feel me? I'm like, but allow it. He goes, bro, I've got him on my pin. He goes, I'll call him right now. I said, brother, call him. From I said, tell him, yo, ask him about flex, bro. Tell him, say my name to him. You feel me? Yeah. Then come back to your door and then we'll see your tone of voice after. Bro, he goes, yeah, say nothing. My mum went and made the phone call. Duh, 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 duh. He come back to the door, his tone of voice changed. He goes, yeah, <laughs> say nothing. And you see from there, you're <laughs> You feel me? To this day, bro, that's my brother. Oh, for to real? This day, so bro, you gave him the Hadouken. Yeah. And now he's just- <laughs> And now he's no, just, it wasn't even him. It was his, his brethren. It was his brethren. It was his brethren. Yeah, but yeah, to this day, bro, that's my brethren. That's my brother. You feel right, me? They say all friendships start from beef. All of the best friendships start with a bit of drama. There, I can't lie. Like, I have to agree with that, bro. I have to agree bro, with that. Always, unless it's like a, a childhood brethren you've been with from school or something. Yeah, like that's yeah, different, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Once well, you grow older, innit? Yeah, once you grow older, like it, throughout life, bro. Even me, when I've had a good friend, people mm. like, oh, how'd you become friends? I was like, bro, I hated him. Like That's even, mad even though. Even some of my best friends and I, it's so weird, yeah. But they were like, oh, how, you've known him years. How'd you know him? I was like, but in school, I hated this kid. <laughs> I hated That's this crazy. kid. Now he's That's my boy. Crazy. But no, it's but that's what I'm saying. You see, like in them environments, like some people they're like, yo, they're so head fast and like, yo, fuck this. But we was like, bro, like, we all live on the, we live on the same wing. It's not that deep, like, bro, like, fuck it, whatever it is, what it is, bro. And then after that, bro, like to the point, like, yo, we became so close that even when he hit the roads and I've hit the roads, like obviously his people them fuck with man. We, they yeah. already fuck, we already fuck with each other. But we just I just don't know him because he's been in jail, you feel me? <laughs> so like he's been, he's like me. He's been in jail from early, from when he was young. You feel me? So he's come out. He's end up getting back to jail, but man still with his peoples. You know what I'm saying? Then I feel like um, later on down the line, this is like a few years down the line. Like we've ended up like linking up, but we've always like stayed in contact. But we've ended up like linking up. Like we've actually gonna go do things together now. You feel me? Like right. we've gonna you're going to do work together. Exactly. There you go. So like yeah, man, it's just crazy like to think that raw our friendship started from. Yeah. Well, let me ask you a question. Yeah. How old are you now? Uh, 26. When did you last go to prison? 2017. How old were you? 19. So you've had a seven year clean run? Alhamdulillah. I mean, I was in jail for three years, so yeah. Four years right now. I'm going on to four years. So yeah. when did you get out? 2020. You got out of 20. So you've had a four year clean run now, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. How's it feel? Bro, I'll be honest with you, I still pinch myself sometimes. Because realistically, what you're telling me now from, from, 
your years from 13, basically, if we're going to class 13, if we're going to class their uh, care homes as yeah, prison, because yeah. they are, bro. You're, mm. not, you're not free, are you, mm, realistically? Mm, 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 mm. You've been locked up or in the system, system from 13 years old mm -hmm. to 20 years old. Mm -hmm. You've spent more time inside than uh -huh. you spent outside. Mm -hmm. How have you kept free for the last four years? Because at the end of the day, yeah, we can sit here and we can talk about crime, gangsters, shooters, everything all day yeah. long, yeah? yeah? People love to hear that. For sure. But being clean for four years, being straight for four years, yeah? It must be so easy for you to get back into the game. And my brother, like, I've had my relapses, bro. I'll be real. Like, it's not easy. Like, man's been out nearly four years, alhamdulillah. But I'll be lying if I said that this was an easy transition, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it's only like as man's getting older and the years go by, every year that man stays free, inshallah, like, man learns, bro. Like, this thing is, it's a crazy transition, bro. Like, to just to go from this living a certain way and just to go to, like, living normal. And the best way, the best answer I can give you is to, like, bro, just God, bro. Like, I swear down, like, because could have gone and left so many times, bro. So, you're obviously Muslim. Yeah. When did you become Muslim? Or was you born I've Muslim? Muslim my life. You was born Muslim, yeah? yeah, yeah. So what how did it feel when you, you said at the start the care home tried to make you go to church and stuff? Yeah. How that was, was that? very like contrasting with my heart, bro. Like like it was get but obviously man's thirteen, but there's nothing I can do. <laughs> the, the, my, the, my, the, my foster care, my whole their whole family, so the mum, um, daughter, son, cousin, they're all involved in the church, you feel me? Like the brother, the, the, the son plays the drums, the daughter sings in the choir, the mum half helps set up, you know what I'm saying? And you're walking into the church, alhamdulillah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm not even saying that, bro. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm trying to move to Gyal, bro. In the church? I'm trying to move to Gyal, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm trying to move to Gyal, bro. Man's in the little Sunday school, Sunday service, yeah. Yeah, you know. <laughs> You no. know. Listen, listen, listen. You're, you're, you're <laughs> different. So listen, when you obviously things went different when you when you went to proper jail when you was nineteen, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What was that like? What you uh, what you go to prison for, bro? Uh, same thing, bro. I've been going to jail for same thing my whole life, apart from the first time I went for robbery. But but I, I heard obviously you get free free strikes, is it or something like that? Where Third, yeah, me, I can't lie. I should have got done. You see my last bird? I should have yeah. got finito. I should have got double digits, but... Because that's what they say. They said you get three chances three and then it's like, boom, you're getting yeah, a yeah, big yeah, sentence. Big I should have got the big bird. Not this, not the last one. The one before that, I should have got the big bird. But... Oh, where are you? I shouldn't even probably say this, but <laughs> one thing that's probably been helping me is the shit that I've been through in my life, bro. Yeah. Like, going so through the you, system. So if you that, get bagged again, you're done. I'm done. I'm finished. You're looking at 10 years plus. Yeah, most def. So even if it's just for something small? Mm, bro, if you get anything to do with... So if you get bagged for shotting again, you're looking at 10 years? Yeah. Serious. Yeah, anything to do with shotting drugs or anything that class A, forget about class A. Class A, I'm done. Forget about me, I'm gone. You feel me? Yeah. That, trust me, bro. Like, it's, and so, in a way, I see, it as a, I see it as a blessing and a curse because a lot of people that I know, like, a lot of men didn't hit the roads until older years, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So... When the stuff that they're going through now is the stuff that I've been through like yeah, 10 really years ago, you, you feel me? Tick that box. I've already done it, you feel me? So it's like, I've gone through the getting nicked and coming out and getting jail and coming out and getting nicked within the first week, bro. You feel me? Like, man's gone jail. I've come out. I've gone jail for grub. I've come out, bro. Yeah? I've been out six days, my brother. I've gone cunch, bro. I've got nicked on that same block. You wow. feel me? My brother. I thought my whole world was crashing down. But Alhamdulillah, they gave me bail. So how are you... They give you bail? They gave me what? bail, bro. But so how are, you, how are you coping now? How are you actually staying legit without going back to the hood? Because you... Bro, we've, from what we're hearing, the viewers will agree as well, you had an addiction to the hood. Yeah. You was obsessed with going back and getting involved again. Why haven't you gone back? Genuine question. Why have you not gone back? What's changed you? Because something's obviously ticked in your head and said, you know what, bro? I'm not going back there. What has changed? Um, the main thing I say was changed, like my mentality, because like. Why did it change? Did someone help you? 
I th- nah, there's only something that I could have done myself because like back then, you, you, couldn't, listen to no you know what I'm saying? There's nothing no one could tell me. There's nothing. God, a stuff for Allah could have come down to me that, you know what I'm saying? And told me, yo, stop trapping and I probably would have hit the block the next day, bro. <laughs> you feel me? But yeah. You're finished. Uh, <laughs> you was finished. <laughs> you were finished. Done, bro. I'm telling you like. But you know what it is? This is <laughs> something I say, yeah? This is why I love having guests on a show like you, yeah? Because as much as, truthfully, you was done. Mm. You you was written off. People would look at you and think he's bro. The courts probably. Bro, fought. I'm telling you, it got to a point yeah where if you're in the hood and you ask about flex, everyone knew you. They're like, yes, but they're like, oh, where is he? Is he in jail still? Like that was a running theme in man's hood for like years, bro. Like, cause people, cause you forget, I, I cut from year eight, bro. I dropped yeah. out of school. So from year eight until God knows when, people like, they don't know where I am. I'm missing, I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? All they're hearing is stories. He's doing this, he's doing that, he's in jail, he's gone here, he's gone that, da, 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 he's got Nick. Da, da, da. So it's like, I'm just like a, I'm like a uh, hood folklore. Like. <laughs> Bro, I, I got a question, you know what? Because always takes me back to school, yeah? Mm. People were scared of you. Other school kids were scared. I mean, I wouldn't say it because, bro, I'm not going to sit here and be like, Yo, man was the baddest. No, no, I'm not saying you're bad, but as in, bro, like when you hear someone, even if you just hear someone goes prison at 13, 14, 15. Yeah, I won't get, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get twisted. Like people used to look at me like I was a madman. Yeah, so when you, when you'd walk down the street and you see other school kids, normal school kids in year eight and nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'd look at you and they know who you are. Yeah. Of course, from that area, they'd know, yo, that's that, that's that boy with prison. He's part, he was selling drugs. Mm -mm -mm. Did you not care? Did you just think, yeah, I'm the man, bro? I'll be real. In the beginning, I used to feel a way. Because people used to look at me and feel like, yo, you're done out. Yeah. Like, that's how people used to chat to me, like, you're finished. I got a tattoo on my back, it says CGM. When I got that tattoo. What's CGM? Crack Game Masters. That's what we used to That was your squad? Yeah, it was our squad, you feel me, at the time. But yeah, I got that tattoo on my back when I was 15, bro, in the band, though, bro, by a cat, bro. A cat. He tattooed Wait, is that me. what your, your gang was called, CGM? Yeah, my boy. Question then, this is a good, this is a good question. For chat you. to me. How much do you reckon CGM made in total? <laughs> <laughs> my brother, I'll I I I I'll be embarrassed to say, bro. How much, roughly? If you had to put a figure on it, how many millions? Definitely millions, no? Yeah, my brother, man. Like, I'm in, like, I'll be embarrassed to say, bro. Like, but we put it this way: we had a Bugatti on the block in 2011, bro. And <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's rewind a little second. <laughs> <laughs> you had a Bugatti first and only n- to have done it to this day. You feel me? Not me, but yeah, my. N- yeah, we CGM. had a Bugatti on our block. Yeah, we had a Bugatti on our block. Yeah, go do your history, bro. You know what I'm saying? That shit was there. Them things weren't cheap. That's so your there. boys were up. Yeah, we was out here, man. If you, if you, in your few on the streets, you know. If you hit Woolies, you know what we're on. We know what we're about. You know what I'm saying? They got to a point where I'd go jail. Like people used to come up to me and be like, "Bro, you Woolies are annoying, bro." I'm like, "Why? Why are we annoying?" They be like, "Bro, every spot the man go to, I buck a Woolies you. I can't." They, you could they, you could not go. But to why it. why why were you not so good at it? Because obviously what you lot were doing was obviously what you lot were doing was obviously working, right? Yeah, most definitely. But why? What made your recipe so good? Um, number one, I'll be like, uh, I'll have to say the the that was on top of man. Most definitely, like we had some smart people, like man, some smart like niggas are not dumb, bro. Like, you know, did you have people. a system in place? Yeah, we had a system. That's the best way to explain it. it was set in a way like. The show must go on. That's the motto. The show must go on. So regardless of anything that goes down, bro, Jeez. you could someone could lose a leg on the block, bro. You know what I'm saying? You could lose an arm, your eyes gone. Is the phone still on? <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Our cat's still getting served. Do you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, like that, bro. Someone needs to be on the block making sure that cats are getting served, bro. You feel me? Yeah, you wanna go link your gal, you wanna go see your Marjorie, you wanna go bathe your skin, but someone needs to be on the block. You feel me? And if there's no one on the block, you're that. You feel me? So uh, that mentality, it built, it built, and it created like trapping machines, bro. That's the best way I can explain it. Like trapping machines, and it became like a friendly competition between each of us, bro. You feel me? Definitely, of course. Listen, seeing who can sell the most, make the most. You want to be the biggest trapper, bro? Who could go to a block and make it do the most peas? How about that? Was you the biggest at one point? I was one of. For real? Yeah, most of. I was one of. But there's like who have gone to build other blocks that's done crazy numbers. Like, for yeah. example, my brother now, he's gone to, like, he had uh, a certain spot, on, you know what I'm saying, pattern, you know what I'm saying? 
bro, that block was doing about four, like 14, 15 quid a day, bro. A day? That's thousands, bro. Like, not hundreds. Like, no, no, 15 bags a day. Yeah, my bro. Like, a day. Christmas, t- Christmas 2014 or 15. Yeah, that's what done about 15, 16, about, maybe about 16 quid. You know what I'm saying? Then the spot that I built, the one next door to it, that was doing about 10 to 12. <coughs> These are crazy numbers, Bruh. man. They could probably never be replicated again in this day and age because just the way shit, like the way feds operate now. Bro, bro, I didn't think it made that much. Yeah, it was crazy, but we, that wasn't I'm the only I'm blocks, in the wrong bro. line of business, about, bro. <laughs> bro, no, like, without being too incriminating, but like, bro, we had five blocks going, bro. You know what I'm saying? We had a block in the hood. Yeah. So we had like two other blocks, like not too far from the hood. And we had about two other blocks that was, yeah, a bit further out, you feel me? And each block was their numbers, bro, you feel me? And, but but it, it yeah, like I said, it takes a system to keep that in order. One of the, you see the block that I was, um, that I built, I told you I kept getting nicked in. Yeah. Like that block was the craziest block. Like, Definitely, mate, you're doing 15 grand a day. But it's in terms of like Jake's, bro, like you like- Every day. Yeah. You get like, you're getting run up on like two, three times a day. They're coming in, they're smashing windows, dragging man out the window, bro, yeah. Like, if you survive there, yeah, <laughs> pats off to you, bro. Because I know n- that go there, first night shift, you don't see them again. That much? Yeah, my bro. Like, it was, it's on, it's on. It's like, and when you get there, you feel it. Like, you feel like. Yeah, the buzz is different. Yeah, there. bro, it's different, bro. It's not like the hood, bro. You got chilling in the hood. Like, over here, you got to be on point. Like, yeah, like, to the point, like, yo, you're unwrapping that pack, bro. You better, you better pray to God that by the time you open this pack and close it, that a fed hasn't run in your face, bro. You feel me? Like that, bro. But yeah. All right, my bro. Look, listen. You've been trapping from 13, yeah? Yeah. From 13 to what? 19 you are trapping? Uh. About that. Let's just say there or thereabouts, yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to tell us one story out of all of them that stands out to you. Remember when I told you earlier, like, yo, karma's like a real thing. Yeah, yeah. I'll be honest, yeah. Throughout man's life, man's whole career, like, um, he calls it a career, you know? <laughs> Yeah, bro. Like, it's not a <laughs> joke, bro. That was man's job, bro. You dumb. Like, that was man's career, bro. Like, trust me. Don't ever try to downplay that. <laughs> trust me. <laughs> on, your, on your CV, <laughs> trap already. <laughs> Yo, trust me. I know some real that. Like, Yo, they take that to heart, bro. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Uh, yeah, I told you about karma, bro. Like, obviously, I don't, I never wish, I don't miss bad on no one. That's just not yeah. how my heart is set. You feel me? But I've clocked that there's a pattern of things that, 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 that's, that, that occur, like, throughout man's life. Like, People that do me wrong or try to do me dirty, things don't usually end up being good for, good for them. But take that however you want. You feel me? So remember I told you earlier about the youth that threw the pack at man out. I went up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So cool. You ended up coming out now. Me, for a long time, I was angry. You feel me? For a long time, I was angry because I didn't see him for years. Then it got to a point where we ended up linking. We bumped each other again, but in jail. You feel me? Okay. So, man's confronted him like, yo, like, because I've just harbored all this thing. Like, really and truly, I should have just so crashed out right there and then. You feel me? But a brother, you know when a brother's like, doing all the, on the Holy Quran, on my mother's life and all of that, all of that copying, pleasing, that like, I just felt a bit weird. Yo. I was like, you know what, bro? Like, Can't really smoke him, bro. Yeah, <laughs> bro. I'm like, brother, from the point you're doing all of this and I've got, and I've seen it black and white, like, bro, like, you're doing too, like, you know what? It's been, yeah, you know what? Yeah, man, whatever, bro. Anyway, long story short, man's come out, bro. The youth ended up dying, bro. Like, you what? Got, yeah, the youth got shot. Like, he died, bro. Like, not me, but yo, like. Well, dead, rest, gone. Gone. Rest in peace to the dead, but yo, like. That was, that was like a big thing. I was like, yo, that's crazy, you know? That's crazy, bro. That's nuts, bro. Like, this life is nuts, bro. When I, when I, when I heard that, I'm like, bro, that's actually mad, bro. Like. It, uh, and that was I, I started. I started thinking that, like, raw, like, is that your karma for like what you done for man? Like, I'm thinking, I'm sort of thinking all sorts of shit, like, because I I got to the point where I was like, you know what? I half forgive you. Yeah, it you is what it is. I half forgive you. It is what it is, bro. Like, whatever you snitched on, man. Cool, whatever. But because my man, because obviously like, I started making music, my man, they became a fan of me, bro. Like, always like bigging up my music, throwing up my, sh- you know, what I'm saying, shining it out, like hitting me up. But you know, like. You know when you know a brother, you know what you've done and I know what you've yeah. done. I just, I never used to just chat to him. You feel me? I used to just air man out. But yeah, man, he used to try to show love and that. But then, yeah, one day, man, heard he Gone. died. Oh, how, old did he, how old was he when he passed? Probably 30, 30-something, 30 31, yeah. My bro, look. Slowly to start wrapping this podcast up, 
what I want to do is I want to hear the last time you went to jail and then, so, and then obviously what you've been doing, now you're out. But let's throw it straight back. What happened last time you went to prison? Uh, yeah, like I said, last time I went to jail, I was like, what, 19? Yeah, that's what, 017. Yeah, county lines again. This time that was what, Cambridge. So it's all out there anyway, but yeah. Cambridge, I've ended up, um, I've come out of jail, like for my last sentence. And obviously, yeah, we've got to get to work, you feel me? I've come out, most, a lot of my brethren have gone jail in this time period. So I've come out and there's not really that many men on the road. There's a few men, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. And one of my people, like his family, like he's coming, he's fucking with us now, you feel me? So his name's Twigs, you feel me? That's my brother, Free Twigs, you feel me? I love him to death. So he's come around us. He's like, basically like brought like, he's brought something to the table. He's brought like a, you feel me? You're like, yo, my brethren knows about this, da, 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 da. You, let's go, let's go there. You feel oh, me? gave you a drop. Yeah, gave us a drop. Like, yo, because we yeah, at yeah. the time we was brainstorming, like, yo, what spot can we go to? We're trying to think about bare spots. Like, we're looking on a map. Like, where can we go? You feel me? So my brethren's like, you know what? Let's go, let's go try here. So anyway, long story short, I've ended up going there. I ended up basically just regulating the whole thing. Like, basically just turning it into like old school days. Like, we're doing like five quid a day there now. You feel me? So I'm there. I've hugged the block. My face is getting bait, you feel me? Long story short, I've ended up getting nicked and go John Joe. But in that time period, remember my bridge and I told you that we got a crack in now with yeah, yeah. He's ended up linking, he's coming back around full circle, you feel me? So he's with man on the program now. Like, so, okay. you know what I'm saying? Like now we getting money together, so it was just crazy. But yeah. And now even him that he the bread the person that he got a cracking with, my bridge and Donald, like they're all cool, you feel me? Like it's <laughs> everyone's like, sweet. Everyone's sweet, you feel me? But yeah. Well, I think money makes <laughs> everyone happy. Yeah, and the minute it's, people stop making it, you start seeing people's street True colors. colors. People start moving funky, bro. And I've seen it, because look, at the time period, remember, we were making five racks a day. We're, we're doing good, you feel me? Yeah. We're doing all right, bro. In the hood, we're driving around in the fucking Maybach, and that we're Gucci, you feel me? Like, But fucking, evil eye is a big, is a real thing, bro. You feel yeah, me? No, evil eye can come within as well, can, can come from within. So, yeah. Some... Mm, Basically, some youths that was, we was fucking with, they ended up doing some snaky shit. They ended up doing a dash with, you know, feel me? With some things and, yeah, like, it, it was, because it was in-house, man didn't really know how to deal with it. Like, man's thinking like, bro, like, these men are brothers, like, yo, but f*** that, bro. Like, these men are violating, you feel me? Like, yeah. so anyway, long story short, in that time period, uh, Back to back losses. We was taking back to back losses. Put it that way. Just every day, losing. every day, taking back to back losses. And it was like it was a sort of like something was an adding up, bro. So in that midst of that happening, I've ended up getting jail. So I've gone jail. That's just the whole thing is just yeah. The foundation is rocky. Because you was you was the main man running the show. I don't want to say that, but yeah, but yeah, basically me and my other you feel me. So I've ended up getting jail. And so, yeah, niggas are moving a bit weird. Duh, 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 duh. But before man's gone, Joe, these men have done the dash. I'm in jail now, minding my business. I'm ready to ride my bird. You feel me? I get a phone call one day. Yeah, I got good news for you. What do you mean? Sweet. <laughs> Goes, yeah, them man are in your jail, you know. I'm like, who? He goes, them man, bro. I'm like, what? He goes, yeah, bro, they're in your jail. I'm like, how the f do you know? He's one of my brethren that's in jail. He goes, yeah, man, he got the drop. You feel me? I'm like, this time I was in Peterborough. So Peterborough jail, if you don't know about HMB Peterborough, it's one of the only jails that I've ever been to that you can have free flow access. So you can go from one wing to another, float you around. Float around. If you're patterned, you feel me? Sweet. So go from one wing to another, da -da 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 -da. I'm like, cool, you know what? I'm gonna go induction wing tomorrow. Let me go let me go G check the thing, you feel me? Let me go see yeah, if there's yeah. any there. So cool. Morning come, tell my bedroom, let's fly, let's go see what these men are on. Cool, man's gone there. So I'm you're on. just fully allowed to wake up, roll out, let's go. If you're good, obviously. Yeah, of course. So yeah, yeah man, done that, bro. Man used to go jumbo with other niggas from other wings, bro. You feel me? Like literally, no cap. But yeah, man's gone down there to induction. Lo and behold, because one of my cold D's that man's got nicked with, he's they've ended up putting him on shit watch. What's that? Shit watch is like when they think you've got something plugged. Oh, for real? They'll hold you. If Jake's think you've got yeah, something plugged, yeah, yeah. they'll hold you. You feel me? So. My brethren, they put him, they, when they've nicked I guess it makes sense, shit away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's what we call it, shit yeah, They call right. it observation or something. Yeah, 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 it's shit that. watch, mate. You feel me? <laughs> like, you don't, you're not leaving until you shit, basically. And are they watching you shit? They're, you're 20, bro, you're a feds at your door, bro. How are you meant to shit? You're handcuffed, bro. When you told them, yeah, I'm ready to shit, they'll be like, all right, cool, we're going to take you to the thing. You shit, and then you've got some thing that cleans the thing, sucks it out, and brings it out. Yeah. Bro, mm. did he so, have something plugged? No, he didn't, luckily. <laughs> 
You feel me? So this time he had nothing, you feel me? So they've ended up, he's ended up just doing the shit straight away. They've letting him go, but they've remanded him to a jail that's next door. So he's come to induction like a month later. You feel yeah. me? So he's basically on the wing with them, man. Okay. But these men are not coming out of their cells, bro. They're not coming out of their cells. So they shook. know. They, they know, know like, what time it is, you feel me? So they're not coming out of their cells. So I'm like, bro, you need to do what you can to get them out of their cells. Yeah, yeah. Do your thing. Do your thing, bro. You feel me? I said, I'm coming here every day, bro. You need to get them out of their cells. So anyway, long story short, a week's gone past now. I've, I think they're feeling more, more, a bit more comfortable, you feel me? But they're still not coming out. But my brethren, you know what he's doing? He's playing the smart thing. Like, he's going to like playing the middle man, like the Good mediator. cop, bad cop. Kind yeah, of thing. mediator. So he's like, he's playing to them like, yo, we're cool, but you might not on to you, you might not on to you, you feel me? But obviously he knows what time it is, so. Yeah, I've gone on the wing one day now with my brethren. No, but he they, he didn't even make it on the wing. So I'm, only, I'm the only one that's cut through. So they, the guards have stopped my brethren from coming. So I'm here now. I got no shanks. I got nothing. No weapons. I'm like, bro, I need to get these youths, bro. So cool. I've gone to the cell like two doors down. I said to my brethren, get that door open, bro, please. He goes, bro, just watch. Just be patient. He goes, I'm going to go to them and chat to them. You see, when you hear, when you hear clicking, that's the signal. You feel me? So cool. I'm chilling, chilling, chilling. Then this cell, I'm in two doors, I'm a cell two doors down. Yeah. I've got the door open, I'm listening out, listening out. I'm thinking, but he's not gonna click, but he's not gonna get them to open the door. Bro, like one minute later, I'm here, click, 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 click. I've run out the cell, run to the cell, I've just run to their cell, open the door, shut the thing, locked it. Yeah. Your nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Trust me. Yeah. Done my thing. You feel me? Done my thing, bro. What did you, you do to him? Bro, I'm gonna open his face up, bro. Oh, for real. I'm gonna open his face up with a bin. With a bin? With a bin, my nigga. I didn't have no weapons, bro. You feel me? I just smoked, man. See the first thing, metal bin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> crash, knew, man. Yeah, up. crash, man. Yeah. And it's, but, th the reason I say that is because, like, one month ago, this is all within the space of one month, bro. So, you, man, have done the snaky thing. You've got, and check this, you've got nicked with the grub. You've got nicked with that same shit. So they got nicked with your stuff that they robbed you that for? they basically robbed them for. It's karma, isn't it? There you go. And you end up in my jail, in the jail that I'm already yeah. in. Come on, bro. You're stupid. Come on, bro. Like, God was, I was like, God, why are you doing this? <laughs> like, why are you making me do this stuff? Like? Thank you. Like, what? Like, obviously, you're not going to get nothing back, but bro, like, yeah. But yeah, I'm, it's so, it's, but it's, the maddest thing is, though, like, saying that after that, man, I've come out. And man, I've changed their lives, bro. Like, you good, feel me? They become good? Yeah, like, man, are, man, are bringing it to me. Like, yo, man's have come out and man's apologised to me. Like, yo, like, I'm like, I'm so sorry. Like, I was tweaking. Like, da -da -da -da, like, I've changed my life now. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Like, that type of timing. Like, but I'm like, yeah, man. Have you changed your life? Most definitely. I'm, you... I'm, in the, I'm, in the, I'm in the process, bro. But as far as, like, yo, like, what man was getting active with before, like, yeah, man, that's just, I'm so far Part away your from past. that. Yeah, man, I'm so far removed from that because when I go in jail, I said, yo, bro, I can't keep doing this. Like you said, yeah. it's my fourth strike, bro. comes like, to a point I, where, bro, enough is enough. Realistically, they say it's insanity, innit? They say the definition the of insanity, thing, doing the same thing over and over result. again, expecting a and different result. I kept result. hearing that. I kept hearing that. And I was like, bro, I'm not insane, bro. Like, <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? I'm not insane. I, I, I just keep making a dumb mistake. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not insane. He's doing a dumb. I'm like, bro, God, why me? You know, every time I get nicked, I'm like, why me, bro? Why am I the only one that keeps getting nicked? But it's like, Bro, like, God was trying to tell me something, you feel me? But yeah, the fourth strike, I'm like, yo, you're lucky that you didn't get birded, bro. Like, you need to change, you need to do something. So I was like, yo, music. So you talk to me? us a little bit about music then. So cool. Remember I told you about Twigs, my brethren? Yeah, yeah. Before I go in, um, before I go in jail, he, he introduced me to the studio. So he was doing music a little bit. But my mom was just going to the studio and so I'm joking around things. So I've gone jail in the midst of, like, me starting to... Do the music. Go, do about. the music thing, like, you feel me? So... I'm in there thinking, scratching my head now, like, fuck, bro, like, what am I going to do? So I'm like, bro, you have to make music, bro. So I made it a mission every day, bro, I'm writing. You feel me? I need to make, I need to write a bar, I need to write a song, a verse or something, bro. Yeah. So that when I come out, I'm going to have a catalogue. You feel I'm me? Good to go. Good to go. And I did. I had a catalogue, I had a catalogue, uh, uh, a notepad filled for each year that I was in jail. You feel me? So for 017, 018, 019, 2020, I had a notepad filled of music. You feel me? So... I was just like, yeah, man, just perfecting my craft, bro. Perfecting my craft. And then I made the decision like, yo, man, I'm not, I'm not hitting the roads when I come out. I've come out. I've, I've even come out. I've told the man them, yo, I'm not doing nothing, bro. Niggas are looking at me like, huh? 
You was the main man. You was the man. Like, you did bro, it. like... You was telling us <laughs> you was doing something. <laughs> like, flex, though, was something changed? Like, what's wrong with you? Like, but... It, like, they had... Even they understood, like, you know enough what I'm saying? Enough is like, enough, bro. How many enough times is, like, bro, back you, Yeah, you, of all people, all right, cool, we hear it. My man, nah. You, all right, cool, we hear it. You've been, you know what I'm saying? We hear it. So it's like, yeah, man. I was like, yeah, man. How's Just music be- going for you? It's going, it's going, it's going good, you know. Well, I, I can't even complain, bro. Obviously, it's not man's nowhere near where man want to be, by any stretch of the imagination. But uh, coming into this game, I've learned that um, it's a patience thing, man. It's a slow and steady wins the race, bro. You know what I'm saying? I could, man. Obviously, my journey has not been one of them ones where it's like your man just dropping and just blow straight yeah, away. You know what I'm course. saying? I haven't been that fortunate, but I feel like in this thing, longevity is um, definitely the key, like. And in order to um, have longevity in this thing, well, you just got to be consistent and give good. good you got product, good. Like. You got good people around you. Yeah, yeah. Got good, yeah you got people yeah. helping you with the music. Yeah, here and there. Yeah, mm, not really. Like yo, like helping me. Like as yeah. far as like advice and support, and you know what I'm saying. Like, but mostly, yeah, man, I did it on myself, bro. But I'm still learning shit. You feel me? I'll be real. I don't well, know. you learn stuff every day. You can only improve every day. Like. Stuff I've been doing, even down to the podcast, you saw you come in here straight. I'm switching up cameras. I'm like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah, that, yeah, and I know it's something yeah. different, but down to you, you're you're learning new things. You're learning how to how to push music this way, how to do it that way, what yeah. to do here. It, it, listen, it's the, it's the life. Life, you Most can't definitely. stop learning. Especially when it's like something that's new that man just getting involved in. It's like, yeah, man, it's going to take me a little while to just like wet my feet. But yeah, man, once I get there, yeah, you're going to, they're going to know. And obviously like, yeah, man, big up you for bringing me on here no, you know what i'm saying you didn't have to do that bro it's a muffin so it's like, yeah, man. Thing, man. my Appreciate thing look, the, way, the, the way i like this the way i do my podcast is i love people to tell their story but i love them to give advice to the younger generations who are out there mm. like you you've i don't even think we need to give advice to the younger generation because people can see your story they can, yeah just from the podcast in itself from 13 years old you've been doing something and you can now look back and say, yo, what the fuck was I doing? Hmm, most definitely. You listen, as much as you've done it, you've lived that life. If it was good, you'd still be doing it. Mm. But I look at people now and they, they like, my brethren's like, cause not, it's not just like, it's not just me. Like, just cause I tried to change my life. Don't mean everyone else is. You feel yeah. me? Like, and some of my brethren's like, my, some of my brethren, that they, they haven't reached that point yet. Some of them, like, they've relapsed. Some of them ended up back in jail, you know what I'm saying? And it's sad, it's unfortunate. Like, bro, this shit hurts my heart, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, seeing my brethren keep going through the same bullshit, like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not, and I'm, I'm, I'm not too far removed from that, you feel me? I've just been lucky because it was, it was only New Year's Day. I was in the fucking police station, bro. You feel well, me? This New Year's just gone? Yeah, this New Year's just gone. Why? Just driving offences, you feel me? Like, <laughs> get your license, guys. <laughs> Get your licenses, but yeah, man. Yeah, man, just minor, minor things, but it's like, yo, like, this shit hurts my heart, bro. It's like, especially when you've seen, you know, you know niggas' stories, bro. Yeah. You feel me? Like, it, it, it's, 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 the thing dead, is, man, man. The thing, the difference is, no one knows your story. This is an untold story. Most definitely, exactly. So that's what I'm come on here to, to let it be known. And it's like, I don't even come on here to be like, to try to paint myself like to be a certain way or try to glorify or, you know what I'm saying? Like, big up anything that man's talked about man's literally just telling you about man's life bro literally like and the, the thing is as well at the end of the day regarding this year you've told us probably about 10 percent of your life there you go. like we'll be honest with the viewers this is part this is take two we did try and do the film this before but obviously we only have an hour to push it and obviously i know this one's gone over but guys if you do want to hear more stuff more stories if you want him to come on for a part two and tell the story in depth if you want to hear a longer version of it or anything like that, that's what the comments are for. Leave comments. Tell us you want to see Flex yeah, Part man, 2. Let them know, man. Let, let us know. know. If, listen, if you enjoy this podcast, make sure you hit the like button because it lets me as a host know, cool, you enjoyed that podcast with Flex. Let me phone up Flex. Get him back again. Yo, bro, you're coming on for Part 2. Because, bro, at the end of the day, we have stories on here that you told last time, you ain't told this time, and vice versa, where yeah. you got plenty of stuff to tell. Like, even down to you going through care. There's a whole story behind that. Mm. Like... That, that alone your childhood is a podcast in itself mm. like we got so much more of your life to tell where the viewers haven't even had 10 percent of it mm, like, mm, i'll be real with you we've mm, told a minimal mm, mm, but mm, it's always better like that because sure. we give them a little teaser if they want more they yeah, let us know for more man no yeah. most definitely man they let them know and we get we listen it's a little tester for y'all man it's a little tester we, we for can y'all, always man. get him back my brother is there anything else you want to tell the viewers um 
when uh, I think it was like, oh, I'm like my little message to the youth or something. Tell us. Listen, I want you to give a message to the youth. Look into this camera right here. <laughs> give a message to the youth. Hey, I ain't no preacher, but yo, listen, coming from somebody that's been through and someone that's done it, I would just say like, bruv, if you're young right now and you're trying to think about, yo, hitting the roads, trying to go OT or whatever, trying to figure out a way to, you know what I'm saying? Trying to make some change. You feel me? Because we've all been young, you know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to be dusty. Nobody wants to be the one that gets, you know what I'm saying? Gets teased or whatever, but just channel your brains to like, try to do something positive because it's easy. It's so easy to just go get some drugs and just sell them, bro. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't take a rocket scientist to do it. You know what I'm saying? But what you're going to learn with coming with that, just like I've just told you, like there's, like there's many, many like downsides that come with that, bro. You're gonna lose years of your life. Your brethren's like probably gonna snake you. Like you're gonna you're not gonna trust no one. Your girl probably leaving when you go to jail. You know what I'm saying? Your family could become that like, relationship become estranged. Like really and truly, like apart from the the financial gain from it, like bro, you're, you're you're losing a lot. You're losing more than you're gaining, bro. Because when you go to jail, you can't spend the money, bro. You spend fifteen pound a week on canteen, and it's that real. You feel me? Like the postal orders, they stop coming that thick. You feel me? Like, trust me, man. It gets along, bro. Like that's like you when you're when you're when like when man's young, we don't look at life the way we look at life when we're older. When you're young, it's like you live for the moment. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Like da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? But if man switch my mentality to from that to like yo, man need to plan for the future or try to do something that's gonna benefit man's future rather than go sell some drugs that yeah that fucking you know what I'm saying this shit could end at any moment like bro like trust me there's a million ways to make a million pounds trust me you feel me and I'm still in the process of learning myself like I'm not a fully completed project you feel me I'm still in the process but yeah man I'll just say bro like if you got other avenues you got other people that's around you that's trying to you know what I'm saying give you some game like take it in man car Trust me, like, not everyone's out here chatting was. You feel me? Some people know what they're talking about and some people are actually out here trying to help you. You feel me? And don't be like me and just be hard-headed and be like, yo, fuck everyone. Fuck, I know what talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be like that, man. Trust me, like, just take people in, like, because you n- never know, like, that bit of game that something might give you might change your life, bro. Like, no cap. You know 100%, me? my brother. Well, look, my bro, I'll be real with you. It's been a pleasure having you on my show. No, a pleasure for having me back, man. Appreciate and it, man. I reckon the viewers are going to want a part two, so I look forward to seeing you again. Most Guys, Most if you enjoyed this podcast, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Done, though.